In this video, we will explore the RGB LED matrix using MicroPython language. What I have here is an RGB LED matrix from Gorilla Cell ESP32 Development Kit. It is arranged in 8x8 LED matrix for a total of 64 NeoPixel RGB LED. It has three pins, namely as follows, GND for the ground, plus 5V for the supply voltage, and DIN for the data input control signal. For this experiment, you will need an ESP32 development board with a MicroPython firmware inside. This board will serve as the brain for the central processing. An ESP32 shield from Gorilla Cell ESP32 Development Kit. This board will serve as pin extension for the ESP32 and it will provide easy circuit connection. A 3 pin female to female DuPont jumper wires and of course the RGB LED matrix itself. I already have it set up in advance where the ESP32 is attached on top of the ESP32 shield. I also attach the DuPont jumper wires to the RGB LED matrix by following a color coding, which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, and yellow for the control signal. I attach the other end of the DuPont jumper wires to the ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers, which are black to black, red to red, and yellow to yellow pin headers. For this experiment, I choose GPIO23 as the control signal pin for the RGB LED matrix. Now for the software part, the NeoPixel library is built in in MicroPython firmware. We just need to import it in order to drive this RGB LED matrix using this import. I prepared here three examples for this demonstration. For example number one, we will just explore the basics of the RGB LED matrix. Let me run this one by clicking the run button. And to set the first new pixel to red color, we can copy this one. Or we can uncomment and comment and run this and as you can see the first rgb led is turned on which basically turns on the red color of the rgb we can turn on the green color by giving this one a value let's say 10 let me make it zero for the red so that we can see that the green color is set. Let me run the current script. And as you can see, it becomes green LED. Let me comment out this one. Comment out. And let's see the second example. And comment, which basically set the first LED to red color. The ninth. LED to green color and the 17th to blue color. Let me run this one. And as you can see, the first column is turned on with different colors, of course, because this one, this is for the red, this is for the green, and this is for the blue. Let me comment out this one. And we can use this third part to turn off all the new pixel. So let me run. And as you can see, all the new pixel LED is turned off. Now let's go to example number two. Example number two is basically the same as in the previous one, but this one will Turn on every RGB LED one by one, which is done using this for loop. Let me run the current script. 
And as you can see, every RGB LED is turned on one by one. Okay. We can change this one to, let's say, red LED. Make this one as red. And this one for blue is zero. And let me save and run current script. And it becomes red color. And if you want to see this one, the action of this try, except, and finally, this is basically, if there is no error, this one will be executed. And if we hit the keyboard, which is usually control Z, the, the keyboard interrupt will be displayed in the REFL. And before exiting, it will print the exiting, then it will reset the ESP32. I will run again and let me hit the control C. Control C. Okay. When I hit the control C, the REPOL display is keyboard interrupt, this one. Then, before exiting, it prints out the exiting text. Then, the ESP32 is reset. Now, let's go to example number 3. Since this is a matrix display, I created here a simple Python class, which is called RGB matrix, which basically we can address individual RGB LED here in the matrix by its coordinates. So this one will be addressed as row 0 and column 0, while this last RGB LED will be row 7 and column 7, because this one is 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 7, and this is 0 up to 7. Let me run the current script. Let's say, let's turn on the last RGB LED. So that is, we will use the NP object to call this RGB matrix. NP dot pixel set the location in row. So this one is row 7, column 7, let's say turn on the red LED in full brightness, the green LED off, and the blue LED off, and close. And I will hit enter. And as you can see, the last RGB LED is turned on. We can turn on the row 0, column 0. So that is, we just need to change this one as 0. This one is 0. And let's say now we turn on the green LED with the brightness of 100. Hit enter. Okay. Now, if you want to turn on, let's say, this fourth column, uh, fourth row, and fourth column. So that is 4-4. Four, four. So 4-4. Four, four. This is 4. And this is 4. And let's say this is blue color with a brightness of 10. Again, fourth row, so that is 0, 1, 2, 3. Sorry, it should be 3. 3, 3. To represent row 4 and column 4. So this one. 
I will hit enter. And as you can see, the blue LED is turned on. Now, if you want to clear any one of these, let's say, let's clear the red LED, we can use np.pixelclr to the location 7, 7, and hit enter. And the RGB LED is turned off. Or we can clear all the pixel by calling the NP clear all. Hit enter. And all the pixel are turned off. So that's all for now. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here can be found in the companion blog post for this video. A tech to tinker.blogspot.com Links in the video description. And if you are new here, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified the moment a new video is uploaded in the future. Thank you and I hope to see you next time. God bless.